weather is once again making news headlines. Deadly flooding is washing up roads and creating landslides in Serbia, Croatia, and Bosnia. Meteorologists call the rains the heaviest in more than 100 years. The floods follow extreme drought and killer tornadoes in the U.S. Forecasters predict more wild weather is on the way. Joining us now, Tom Barney of Allianz Risk Consulting. He's on set with us to talk about how corporate America can prepare our most companies ready for tornadoes, which is what we're dealing with right now in the weather. The first thing that you need to do is really prepare your employees. So really putting together a pre-emergency plan for employees with when in fact a, uh, a tornado is going to happen because it does come upon you very quickly. What is the game plan? Where do employees need to go in case that happens? From a business standpoint, one of the things that we need to do is really understand what's the impact on my business if in fact a tornado was to hit one of my facilities or destroy part of my facilities, but also the impact that may happen if in fact a tornado hits one of my suppliers and what's going to happen with that aspect of it. When you go to companies to find out if they're prepared or not, if the company's prepared or not, how do you test this? How do you get them ready? Really, it's walking through the, the business continuity plan that they've, been, that they've put together understanding the aspects of their business, where parts and different, different things come from, and also understanding what their suppliers are. And, and the last thing you want to do is understand where that, where that business continuity plant rises up within the corporation. Are most corporations insured for these situations or uninsured? Uh, most companies are probably, from our aspect, um, you know, because we're insurance, most companies are insured, but there is a, an entity that do not have insurance for these types of events, and those are things that, that you know, to some degree don't, uh, aren't covered for, right. from an insurance aspect. And regular insurance might not cover all of your needs, correct? No, it does not, it might not cover all of your needs. So really the, the aspect is um, you don't, you know, m loss of market share, situations where you're not able to get your product out to, to your, you know, your customers, things like that are things that insurance does not cover. Tom Varney, good to have you on the show. Thank you. Thank you very much.